video that you showed that you were talking about earlier. I just, again, wanted to continue to demonstrate how people are so ignorant and will believe just about anything that you tell them. And if I can walk up to people and state fake facts and get people to comment on them and not have a light bulb go off in their head, just imagine, and we've seen it demonstrated for years, what the mainstream media is able to do with their men in suits and with their uh, professional music and with their $100,000 sets. And this is a demonstration of why the public is so easily manipulated by the television. It simply tells them what to do, what to believe. Uh, their rational processes have become so dumbed down. You know that if somebody has an injury, if they break a bone in their arm or leg is in a cast for six or eight weeks, when it's out, it's very atrophied. That's unfortunately what has happened to most Americans' minds. I mean, they're literally not using them. The smartphone use, the obsession with the internet, uh, the short-term thinking processes have basically been short-circuited, not dumping data into long-term memory. And by the Most way, all today, the research studies that you're talking about show that you're not just making claims here. Uh, people are disassociating. They're becoming basically zombies. Uh, and, and, and you're not out there, because we've talked about this before, to make yourself look smart and make them look dumb or cherry picking. Uh, you're out there showing really what you ran into and just how much danger we're in. Because quite frankly, it is liberals. We found this in Austin. If you go to a conservative area, they're pretty informed, they're pretty smart compared to these people. So-called liberals are the, but they always think they're real smart. And MSNBC makes fun of dumb conservatives all day who certainly exist. I'm not conservative or liberal, I'm into just freedom, libertarian. But this phenomenon of liberals being dumber than a lobotomized Turkey or something, I, I, they're a very scary group because they will vote however they're told to. That's why I'm demonstrating, you know, and, and I'm glad a few years ago, some of your crew came out and we did a video together and, and they were probably stunned to see just how easy it was, not only for me to demonstrate people signing the petitions for absurd legislation, just stating a fact, a fake fact that uh, you tell them it's for their own good, they'll sign a petition to repeal the Bill of Rights, just complete insane ideas. Your camera crew got to see it. My cameramen are absolutely stunned. And you know, we we're talking earlier in the show about the power of television. One of the most famous uh, media analysts is a man named Neil Postman, who wrote a book in the 1980s called Amusing Ourselves to Death. Uh, still captures the state of the American media today when he says that under the governance of the printing press, discourse in America was different from what it is now, generally coherent, serious, and rational. And then how under the governance of television, it has become shriveled and absurd. And he goes on to say that we have part of the reason for this is because we've been accustomed to its discontinuities so that we are no longer struck dumb as any sane person would be by a newscaster who having just reported that a nuclear war was inevitable goes on to say that we'll be right back after this word from Burger King. And one can hardly overestimate the damage that this just a position does to our sense of the world as a serious place. He goes on to say that they keep everything brief, not to strain our attention, uh, but to provide constant stimulation through variety, novelty, action, and movement. You are required to pay attention to no concept, no character, and no problem for more than a few seconds at a time. That bite-sized is best. The complexity must be avoided. Nuances are dispensable, and that qualifications impede a simple message and visual stimulation is a substitute for thought. That's right, it's dumbed down to Republican, Democrat, black, white. You're either for the cops, you're against the cops. They want us all like automatons with no subtlety, no qualifications, uh, no deep understanding of history until the general public are like dumb animals. It's so sad, they're so stupid, but they're also so vicious. They'll vote to take our guns in a minute. They'll vote to put us in a FEMA camp. You've gone out and had long discussions with liberals going, yeah, we're going to put the gun owners in forced labor camps. And they're like, oh, good. Yeah, I don't like them. And these people are ready, Mark, to come take us and our families. It, I mean, these are sick. An idiocracy. It, 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 I mean, we have a generation of people who grew up on smartphones literally don't know by memory the, the phone numbers of their friends or their families. I mean, most people under perhaps 
30, 25, remember before smartphones, when you would actually memorize the phone numbers of your family and of your friends. But now people, as you know, just plug them into their phone. If they lost their phone, if their phone battery died, they would be so lost. They literally wouldn't know where they are. They don't know how to go anywhere without GPS. And you know, Martin Luther King, the, the video that we were talking about and, and what he's done for this country, his just his still historic speech that rings true today. This is also an important day to highlight, as, as you know, the COINTELPRO program, the FBI's uh, undercover provocateur program to literally illegally uh, infiltrate peaceful groups that were a threat and are a threat to the establishment. Because as you know, as much of this audience knows, you know, your, your audience is probably growing, but more new people sort of awakening up or coming of age, trying to piece well, Let's talk about together. it when we come back. Media analyst Mark Dice is our guest. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce customer relationship software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers. From sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E.com. Snapforce.com. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. This is a serious topic for all men. Every single man listening may have a prostate problem if he lives long enough. That's right. All of us men may suffer from a prostate problem, like urinating more often, waking at night to urinate, or problems with intimacy. That's why every man needs to call for a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate, a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's free, pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-964-7470. Prostate problems may not be an issue of if, they can be an issue of when. Super Beta Prostate's ingredient is clinically shown to reduce urges to urinate, reduce waking at night to go, and help improve intimacy. Call for your free bottle. Just call 1-800-964-7470. That's 1-800-964-7470. Call 1-800-964-7470. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Hear that? That's the sound of a house being trashed while a gang of thieves ransack the place. And what they don't steal will be destroyed. This year, resolve not to be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone inside is watching TV, even when you're miles away. Security is a mindset, and fake TV should be part of your security solution. Be vigilant, but not fearful. faketv.com Before you slip into unconsciousness I'd like to have another kiss Alex Jones here back live tomorrow night we'll have the InfoWars Nightly News crew giving live continued coverage mystery science theater style talking over the liar in chief Obama or during the long fake applauses they'll be uh, adding analysis commentary and then a summary of the lies fraud deception uh, and basically enemy attack uh, disinformation. That's tomorrow night. Coverage starts at 7, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, they will then give live commentary over the address and then give uh, comments after so that we can have articles written that night and videos breaking down the different lies that are involved. I don't want to dominate the process. I was thinking about 
coming in after the State of the Union, after Jakari Jackson, David Knight, Leon McAdoo give commentary during it, and then coming in at the end and uh, doing 30 minutes uh, breakdown at the end of it. Or maybe I should do it at the first. I just like to step aside and let them grow, which they've really been doing. David Knight does a wonderful job when he hosts the show. So that's coming up. Uh, going back to Mark Dice. Mark, I mean, Martin Luther King said, don't judge people on their color. Judge them on what they stand for. I don't care what color you are if I like your music. I don't care what color you are if I like your restaurant. I'm going to come eat there. I mean, that's what, that's what free market's really all about. Free market of ideas, free market of choice. That's real diversity is that you're not hung up on what color somebody is. So, you know, you got a friend who's whatever, you know, go see a movie together or whatever. But now political correctness is just the opposite. It's all about what color you are and how you're a special group. You're protected. The opposite of what Martin Luther King said. And now we know why the FBI left uh, Malcolm X alone when he was saying kill everybody. But as soon as he said, no, uh, all races should work together, that's when he got killed. And it really shows the system wants us to divide and conquer. So spend a few minutes on uh, COINTELPRO. Yeah, I mean, the general public would think this is a conspiracy theory, but I mean, we know it's been declassified that the FBI had and of course continues to have despite their claims that they ended the program and apologized for it. But they were infiltrating and harassing, uh, committing all sorts of illegal crimes and uh, to discredit, disrupt and neutralize uh, peaceful groups, particularly Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement, or anybody who was or continues to be. Because he didn't want to burn down the country. Because he didn't want to. But meanwhile, violent groups are being supported. And meanwhile, George Soros is pushing violence and, and, and rioting again. Yeah, we, we even saw, you know, J. Edgar Hoover, the, the, the infamous founder, father of the FBI, who contained a, an entire series of file cabinets of dirt on uh, politicians so he could blackmail them into doing his bidding. He was obviously against uh, any uh, public figure, any musician, John Lennon, he wanted to have him deported because he was such a powerful anti-war spokesman and face uh, against the Vietnam War. Again, that was an establishment program. And they finally uh, shut him down, just like the Argentinian prosecutor, hours before he was going to present damning evidence at Parliament, shot in the head. The government says it was a suicide or just breaking an Infowars.com. The uh, maker of, uh, he was making an anti-globalist, uh, uh, anti-establishment movie, Gray State, director found dead in, in apparent murder-suicide with his wife and child, was working on project envisioning future federal martial law crackdown. How suspicious is that? Well, I mean, we know there's a, a series of Operation you know, False Flag attacks. We know, and I don't even like to talk about some of the actual details of some of their programs like the Devil's Breath, Scopolamine. I mean, they literally have a, a powder that they can just blow into somebody's face and they'll turn into a, a conscious, appearing conscious zombie that will literally do anything that they tell Let's them Let's talk to. about that when we come back in one minute. I want to get you back for a full hour next week. Uh, to talk about your new book, oh, Inside the Illuminati. It's an excellent new book. We're not selling it. We need to get them in bulk and sell them at InfoWarsStore.com. You can find those at Amazon.com, his new book. Stay with us. Back in 60 seconds, and our other guest is coming on. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Cells become toxic, they die early, and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show.